Hey guys, David here. Welcome to Digital Outlook, where you're going to find the best community in all of crypto. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Cardano, and I'm going to show you why Cardano is a project you don't want to be sleeping on. So guys, without further ado, why don't we get to it? Now, if there's something that we all know about this space is that it is tremendously emotionally charged. I mean, you've got the Bitcoin maxis, which are really, really out there. And then you've got people that will pick their four favorite projects. So you got like your Chainlink Marines. Of course, you got the XRP Army. You've got the Cardano Samurais and on and on it goes. I mean, people literally look at crypto like they don't look at any other investment type of space and they get really riled up over their their favorite team. Well, lately we have been going through this big spat with Charles Hoskinson and the XRP Army considering his whole comments about the ETHgate scandal and whether or not it's legit or if it's just some conspiracy that's been made up by a lot of XRP supporters. Well, this has caused the sentiment for Cardano to really take a negative turn and people have been just kind of like poo-pooing this ecosystem. But guys, I'm telling you, put all that emotionally charged stuff aside and take a look at some of these stats. It will truly blow your mind. Cardano just recently passed some major milestones. They have just reached over 50 million. In fact, it's 53.3 million transactions with absolutely no downtime in over five years. And beyond that, guys, they have grown their base to 3.63 million wallets. That is a tremendous amount of growth. And of those wallets, being that Cardano is a proof of stake system, 1.22 or 23 million wallets are staking. So you're talking about almost a third of the entire ecosystem is involved in the proof of stake. I mean, that blows Ethereum's doors completely away. And when you consider this, Think about it from this perspective. You've got what, 1,120 some different projects building on Cardano right now. And they just went through this vassal hard fork. And everybody was gonna say, oh, this is gonna collapse. It's gonna be a disaster. There's all these code you know, breaches and blah, 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 blah. Turned out none of that was true. And Cardano has literally just seamlessly slipped through that. Conversely, you're looking at Ethereum. And what's going on with Ethereum? Now, I'm not saying Ethereum is going to just like disappear, but what's going on with Ethereum? Well, it's struggling. It is struggling with its new uh, ETH 2.0. I mean, you're not seeing any increase in the speed of transactions. And in fact, as far as that goes, you got to lock up about what? 32 ETH, completely lock it up. Whereas in Cardano, you don't have to lock up what you're staking. You have access to it at any time. And so if there was a big price pump in Ethereum, well, too bad for you. You've got it locked up in 32 Ethereum at 2,000 bucks a piece. You're talking $64,000 of investment money that could be locked in and in a major, uh, let's say bull run or something big happened where the price just all of a sudden pumped. Well, you're stuck. You miss out on those gains because you cannot pull it out. It's locked in. Whereas with Cardano, you're not locked in like that. In fact, you're able to stake it and even hold it in your own cold storage wallet while you're staking it. So you're holding on to your private keys the entire time and have complete control of your assets. That is truly phenomenal. And I'm going to tell you guys, if there is any asset out there that can give Ethereum a true run for its money, it is Cardano. I just want you to take a look at this ecosystem. Just take a look at this image here and you ask yourself, look at how widespread this ecosystem is. How many projects, like I said, 1120 some projects building on Cardano right now. And you look at all of the various, um, you know, different hard forks that have happened over this time frame of their 
ecosystem and you can see them all and they have literally although it's taken them time to do it to be sure they've moved slowly getting it done but look at how much they have been able to accomplish and with zero downtime i mean you look at some of these other so-called eth killers you know and solana has Solana been able to do that? Absolutely not. And even the founders of Solana have said, hey, look, the whole downtime thing for Solana has been its Achilles heel, basically. It's been like a bane of their existence. And that's what's going on. But Cardano, you're not seeing that. And that tells you, look, they are taking their time. They're taking their, you know, doing it right and making sure that all of these things go through. And that's what test nets are for, guys. So when they were reporting all these problems in the test net, well, that's what a test net was for. That was so that they could actually go out there, figure out what are the problems, how can we fix them before this thing goes live on the main net. And then we really have to deal with some serious issues. And that for me is a major plus. So regardless of all this emotional hooey and all this infighting that's going on between xrp army and charles hoskinson and the ETH ethereum guys and all that put all that aside take a look at what's being built take a look at the end product and i'm telling you what you are going to see is an absolutely phenomenal project with ab amazingly strong results and not to mention this guys do you realize over 27% of all the transactions on the Cardano blockchain are smart contract based? That tells you heaps about where this ecosystem is going. And I'm going to let you know something. When I was getting into Cardano back in the last bear market, I was picking it up and many of you have heard this before at about four cents. Well, I didn't know anything about Cardano other than was one of these ones that was a whole lot cheaper than Ethereum and a whole lot cheaper than Bitcoin. And I thought, okay, fine. This is going to complement what I'm putting into XRP and XLM and all those kind of things. Guys, it turned out to be one of the most fabulous winners that I could have ever picked. I literally saw 100 X returns. It was truly, truly phenomenal from four cents to $3 and 10 cents practically. 100x and now listen i took half of my profits out but on top of that from what i was staking in this proof of stake system from what i put in there i literally doubled i got over 100 almost 200 percent from my staking rewards so literally cardano proved to me that it was one of the best investments that i could have made and in fact on the amounts that i've left in which are significant by the way i am still up over one thousand percent on those gains can you believe that in a bear market that is telling me just how significant cardano is and this is one i'm telling you you really don't want to sleep on and you don't want to get yourself pigeonholed into all of these you know emotional arguments going on there use your sense when you're considering these various ecosystems and which ones to participate in you want ones with utility you want ones with great management teams so real world utility great management team you want the strategic partnerships ones that cardano produces and you look at the price action how can you refute the price action for cardano when you consider look you could have picked it up at the bottom at four cents way back there in 2020 and all that watch it go to three bucks took out some of your profits if you wanted to like i did and then still be up one thousand percent in a bear market on what you left in there truly phenomenal if you ask me and so that's why i would say cardano is not one you want to be sleeping on so something else to consider when you compare cardano to ethereum is this both of them being layer one platforms smart contract platforms and both of them being proof of stake at present look at the fee structure i mean it is absolutely no contest cardano's fees are way way cheaper than ethereum's fees it is massive and another thing i want you to consider is this how has Ethereum moving over from proof of work to proof of stake helped the end user. Has it increased the transaction speed? Nope. In fact, you even have the uh, founders coming out literally saying, hey, look, you're not going to get faster speeds. And by the way, you're not going to get cheaper, cheaper fees. And you think about that and you're like, okay, how is this helping the end user? And on top of that, look, you have a lot of folks now that are looking, taking a massive amount of their investment in Ethereum and having to lock it all up where they don't have the ability to have access to it the way that they would normally have had when it was under proof of work. 
And of course, they can't compete with Cardano's proof of stake system that gives the staker that kind of access. Well, guys, I think the only reason that Ethereum translated from the proof of work to the proof of stake was scalability. And they're trying to address this major issue because they realized way back, by the way, they had been planning this ETH 2.0 way, way back in 2018. And it took them a tremendous amount of time to make that a reality. And now that it has, it truly hasn't solved any real major problems at this point anyway for the end user. And truly, I believe that the reason they translated it over there is that is number one, the scalability issue. And number two, to get themselves out of this legal quagmire that's coming down the road with respect to all of these energy hogs, proof of work, energy hog systems. And they know, hey, look, the, the, the market is turning against that. And you've got all these legislators out there around the world that are saying, hey, look, we got to give us some serious attention to all of this proof of work stuff because the amount of energy consumption is getting absolutely obscene and i think that that's what they were looking for and they moved it all over and to me guys it has not benefited the end user to any massive degree now yes ethereum's ecosystem is way 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 bigger than cardano's is right now but i don't think it is anywhere near way 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 better that is for sure. So guys, this is the video I have for you today and I truly hope that you enjoyed it. Now, if there's something that I said that you completely disagree with or something that you think I left out that should be mentioned, will you drop that right down there in the comments and put it out to the community and start a discussion? So before you go, I wanna show you something really, really neat. Now, a few of you may remember back a few weeks ago when I was at this same spot and I was showing you this lake right here and it was dried up all the way back to that tree line right up and in there. And look at it now. What a difference just a few rains can make. Absolutely amazing. Well, guys, as you know, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice, but if you found value in it, if you'd hit that like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And hey, don't forget to hit that notification bell down there so that you don't miss out on all the videos that we're uploading. And guys, we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers and we're almost there. So if you're one of the thousands of people who watch these videos but haven't yet subscribed, would you do the channel a favor and join this community? We we would really love to have you on board. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll catch you in the next one.